In this video, we bring you some styling options for your sugar push and your right side pass that you can practice on your own. What's up, everybody? My name's Miss Emily. This is Miss Megan from WestCoastSwingOnline.com. And we got a request to do a couple of different versions of the sugar push and the right side pass on different parts of the pattern themselves. So we are going to just stick with sugar pushes and the right side pass today. We're going to do a couple of variations on the anchor, then change uh, the three and four, and then the one, two, we'll talk about some common things that you can try on your own. So Miss Megan's going to leave. We are gonna start with the sugar push and we are going to start with the anchor and work back. So on your five and six, we're going to cross forward to the side and then to the back. So if we did that with the pattern, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. That's option one. Option two, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Then we have option three, one, two, three and four and we cross behind. So you've got crossing in front, so followers with your left foot, leaders with your right foot, cross and we anchor back. You have your side anchor for five and six or the anchor to the back as we cross, five and six. Either way for the uh, follower, we're going to take our left foot and make sure that it ends behind the right foot and the right foot ends behind the left foot for the leaders. Anything for the leaders to think about? Uh, just remember that no matter which anchor styling you are doing, that you're not moving this hand unless you're intentionally, wrong foot, sorry, <laughs> unless you're intentionally like wanting to lead your follow in that specific anchor style. Cool. So a lot of the um, a lot of the things to think about connection is one of the big keys. So you want to make sure that you have the connection on four. So leaders, you're making a stopping point, and followers, you're finding that connection. So whatever happens on five and six, it doesn't really matter what uh, the other what your partner is doing. But if they are actually leading more of a rotation or an angle, you want to pay attention to that, and your connection will be the key. So we have one two, three, and four. If we stop here, sorry dear, if we stop here, we're gonna make sure we have the connection on four and that way I can either, I can do one of those three, uh, cross forward, side, or back, and my leader can do the same or different whichever they choose. So if we did five and six, you can do whichever you feel like at the time. Now, if we change the three and four, we can still kind of keep the same idea. So if we kept one, two the same, we so this will create more of an angle. So followers and leaders, you might be doing it at a different time since leaders are going back, followers are going forward. But one, two, if we open that space up, three and four, five and six, that adds, up, that adds to a whole bunch of different things that you can do in your sugar push. So from there, you can, we can go to the side, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. But we again maintain the connection, find it on four. Then <laughs> we are going to try crossing behind on the three and four. So we have one, two, we angled again, three and four, five and six. So you'll see again, followers, when I go back, the leader is going forward. You don't have to do that, but that seems the most natural um, to get into that. So followers, if you kind of take the lead on this one and you angle your body in, that creates more dimension and then the, the leader can kind of play off of that as well and vice Definitely. versa. Um, so if the leaders did it and you don't necessarily want to take the lead, but you are very good at following, like Miss Megan, is <laughs> she gets connected so from here one two if they open up this connection three and four five and six you can either stay square to her or it's a little bit more fun to play with the angles now for the one and two do you want to talk about that uh so for the one and two um really the only two things that we are more comfortable to do obviously you might be able to create some interesting things but you can either groove your walks one two or you can do a hitch one and two 
Do you have anything to add? Uh, no, so syncopations are a really good way. You'll, we'll, you'll see that in just a few minutes when we do it with the right side pass. Um, but that's a fun way to kind of stylize anything that you, um, any pattern, whether it's basic or more intermediate, um, hitches and syncopations are super fun to play with. Uh, and then again, there are different ways that you can groove your walks. You can do your in and out. Mm -hmm. You can do a little uh, there you knee go. out. Might be a little harder backwards, but it's still doable. Brian B, I think I don't that's like do. his go-to. He just he does, does these. <laughs> Check out the footwork section hey. on West Coast Swing Online. I'm sure there are plenty of drills uh, that Brian B likes to do for that. So that is the sugar push. We have the anchors. We have the different um, angles and options for the three and four. And then we talked about the different walks and the hitches for your sugar push. So now the right side pass. Same idea, we're gonna cross in front to the side and back for the right side pass. So we have one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Then we had to the side. So one, two, three, and four, five, and six. And last one, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Cool, so same thing applies. We're, we are angling to the front on the anchor, to the side and back. So these are very, very easy to do. If you don't have a partner, you can practice your footwork, which is very, very good to know. But for the leaders, your right foot would come in front. Followers, your left foot comes in front for the five and six. If we went to the side, five and six. And if we went to the back, five and six. So that all applies the same way as it did to the sugar push. For the three and four, it changes a little bit. <laughs> so we are gonna cross in front a little bit more than normal on the three and four. We have one, two, three, and four, five, and six. So I open up a little bit sooner. Um, I believe the leader does the same thing -ish. Yeah, you can play a little bit with the angle, but <laughs> make sure that you are still um, facing your follower. Sorry, I can't, I can't see, see the camera very well. So you, uh, there's a flashlight principle. Make sure that your flashlight is on your follower. If you're really flexible and can turn different, two different ways, you can rotate more. You can. They call it, what, you, what did you just call it? Flashlight? Flashlight. I call it the Iron Man glowy thingy. Because <laughs> it stands right there in his body. All right, so, but you won't forget it now. From here, we are going to do a syncopation. So we have one, two, and three, four, five, and six. So if you feel like it, if the music calls for it, anything like that, you can raise or lower, but the syncopation itself is going to hit more in the music than a normal three and four. So let's do that this way. We have one, two, and three, four, five, and six. So that's your syncopation. We're now gonna take out uh, a step in this process. So we still have our one, two. We have one, two. We're going to take this step out. Three, step four, five, and six. You can add a little body roll if you want to. You so let's go ahead and do the one where we take out the step going this direction. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we we have taken a step out. Instead of doing the three and four, we do a three, four, five, and six. Then we can do those same two uh, we showed you for the one, uh, one and two as we did for the uh, sugar push. So if we just did those real fast, just a groovy uh, walking, we have one, two, three, and four for the sugar push, or one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Then there's the hitch, and one, and two, three, and four, five, I'm and following. Six. One, and two, three, and four, five, and six. <laughs> Benjamin's behind the camera making fun of me because I have a hard time following. But here I am following. So um, <laughs> the other thing that you can do, if it is more of like a funky, kind of hip hop -y pop song, going a little bit lower and trying to move the feet a little bit, kind of like Apple Jacks, but not quite that intricate. Um, you can add a little bit on the walk, walk too. So one, two, three, and four, five <laughs> and six. Oh, one, two, three, and four, 
five, and six. I promise I'm really trying to follow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it'd be really helpful if I actually led well. Sorry. Um, okay, so those are a couple. Is that all? Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> those are a couple of different options that you can practice on your own. So for the anchors, for the follower, you want to take your left foot forward. So you can do five and six. You can go to the side, five and six, or to the back, five and six. You can either take things out on the three, four, you can syncopate, you can add angles for the sugar push, you can do a whole bunch of different options, but that gives you a couple of things to play with. If you're interested in more styling stuff, check out the styling checklist on westcoastswingonline.com. And there are, uh, there's a lady styling and a leader styling course <laughs> on the website as well. So check those out and we'll see you on a dance floor soon.